If a Kennedy is endorsing Trump, you know the Democratic Party is left out. You know they don't want anything for us. You know the Democratic is bringing America to its ruin. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We want to continue bringing you the best content there is. And if you don't like what I have to say, let me know on the opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Tell me what I can improve on. Tell me how can we get better. Tell me why you are not following us right now. Yeah, riddle me that. Why are you not following your best conservative channel? But ladies and gentlemen, when we speak about the civil rights movement, there's a few names that come to mind. Obviously, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Angela Davis, Hugh Newton, John F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy Sr. Now, if we move some decades in the future, when we speak about making America great again, there's one person that comes to mind, Donald J. Trump, the presidential candidate and former president number 45 of the United States of America and the Republican Party. The one that's trying to transform America to the best, make America what America used to be, what America stood for, what America meant, not just to American, but to the entire world. Because right now, believe it or not, America is a laughing stock of every other nation. Every other powerful nation is laughing at us right now. And if you don't know why that is, that will explain why you are voting Democrat this election. Donald Trump, Republican, making America great, that's who you should be voting for. So going back, civil rights movement, on the presidential spectrum, we got JFK, John F. Kennedy. Making America great on the presidential spectrum, we got Donna J. Trump. When you speak about the Democratic Party, there's not a more Democratic last name than the Kennedy. An entire family tradition of Kennedys in the Democratic Party. So something you would never expect to see was Kennedy, Trump, Democrats, Republicans, collide together in a positive way. Never in my lifespan I thought I would see a Kennedy and a Trump together. This is the collaboration that America needed, and this is the collaboration that we have. How did this happen? In simple terms, let's put it like this. The Democratic Party effed up. They effed up big time. They basically kicked Robert Kennedy off of their party. Robert Kennedy doesn't believe in a lot of the crap that the Democratic Party is doing right now because he knows it's a corporation. It's not the elected sitting president who's conducting anything. The Democratic Party has been blackmailing, destroying, not securing Robert Kennedy, even as a presidential candidate, it took forever for them to give him secret service. Then he goes and, believe it or not, endorses Donald Trump. What's the first thing the Democratic Party does right away? Take away the secret service. Even Fucci, Felucci, whatever that guy name is, the so-called doctor that made all of you get your COVID shot and say that, wow, wow, all this crap. Even him, who is not a federal employee or anything to do with the federal department anymore, has secret service. So tell me, make it make sense, America, why Robert Kennedy doesn't have secret service? Why is Robert Kennedy being sued by all these democratic states about election and why not? He has won everything. They keep throwing stuff at him, left and right, just like Trump. This is political perse persecution by the Democratic Party. So the fact that Robert Kennedy came and endorsed Donald Trump, and he said, I don't agree with everything he has to say, but we are in the same agreement that America is going down and we got to make America what America is. 
what America used to be, what America stood for, the values of what America stands, not just here in the nation, but in the world. And just hearing those words and seeing why Robert Kennedy is endorsing Donald Trump and working with Donald Trump is amazing. And not just Robert Kennedy. Let me tell you who else officially endorses Donald Trump. My favorite Lieutenant Colonel, Tulsi Gabbard. Aloha. Tulsi Gabbard, my favorite Lieutenant Colonel, my favorite Hawaii person, is endorsing Donald Trump as well. And guess where she did it? No place better than at a National Guard convention. You know, like, I love Lieutenant Colonel Tulsi Gabbard. She's my favorite Lieutenant Colonel. And her endorsing Trump and Robert Kennedy endorsing Trump and J.D. Vance, a vice president, oh my God. Like, the only way we will lose is if they rig the election again or you guys don't go out and vote. Don't leave it to chances. Go and vote. Secure what is right for America. Don't let it in the hands of future. Don't let it in the hands of nature. Get up, go and vote. If you have a friend who doesn't normally vote, grab that friend and go and vote. And remember, we're voting for the Republican Party because we want to keep America great. We want to make America great again. If you see all these southern nations that are coming through the southern border, all those illegal immigrants. They have a bunch of country next to where they live, but where they choose to go? To America. Because, believe it or not, whether they are good people or bad people, they know that America, we stand for something. The world knows that we stand for something, even though they're laughing at us right now because the government administration is weak. You know that song from Chris Brown to Quavo? The weakest link, our current administration is the weakest link in America. It's what's making America so weak at the moment. And unless we want to continue this path of destruction, we have got to change and select number 45, put number 45 back in the office. I publicly endorse you, Donald Trump. I endorse you as a Republican presidential candidate as a Republican president that we need as the number 47 because you are indeed 45 and 47. You were 46, but we're not going to go there because we all know what happened during the election. But people, wake up. A Kennedy is endorsing Donald Trump. The independent, he became independent because of everything that's going on with the Democratic Party. And then he chooses to endorse Donald Trump as Republican. And all this backlash he's been getting, all this backlash from family members, the media, everybody. Now he's a racist. He doesn't love America. No, wake up, because like I said before, if a Kennedy is endorsing Trump, you know the Democratic Party is left out. You know they don't want anything for us. You know the Democratic is bringing America to its ruin. So wake up and go and vote. If you know, you know. Donald Trump, 2024, 20, president, number 47.